Hey, what's up guys? How we doing? Coming to you again from the Epic Garage Design Studio. If you want to win the Epic Tracks, head over to Epic Garage Designs and go to the videos. So there's one where I throw some, uh, some nuts and bolts onto the Epic Tracks. Make a comment on that and you're entered to win either Epic Tracks, one of these really cool overhead racks that holds 800 pounds. Um, also, thank you to EBC Brakes. They kick ass if you need a clutch, brake pads, oversized rotor, you name it, EBC Brakes has got you covered. And my buddy Coach Rob at CompleteRacingSolutions.com. Everything you need to get you in shape, make you a more durable, stronger, longer lasting athlete. All right guys, let's get into this thing. I got some interesting stuff today about Club MX. Jeremy Martin had a really big one last week and it looks like it might have been the bike. So. Anyway, guys, I got some thoughts on that, and I'm going to dive right into this thing. I'm in the Empire business. Everybody love everybody! You all know exactly who I am. I hate this part. I hate it so much that I actually forget to put it in every video, because I don't want to say it just as much as you guys don't want to hear it. But if you just subscribe, if I can get my subscriber percentage down to 50% of the viewers, um, are already subscribed, I will stop asking you to subscribe. That I promise. I promise you, if we can get to 50% of the viewers have subscribed, I will stop asking. Right now, we're at about 75. So let's get there, and I can stop talking about it. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, so I don't know if you've caught it yet. If you're not watching the Club MX, like their kind of documentary vlog series, you're missing out. This is seriously one of the best ones I've seen. Brandon and Mike and all the guys over there, they... They're really, they're showing us everything, guys. They're literally showing us almost everything. So much so that, I don't know, there is one thing. Jeremy Martin, while they were doing their motos, which if you watch the video, they break it down, and uh, Jeremy Martin has a big one. It looks very much like what happened to Chad Reed at the World Supercross and Josh Grant at the World Supercross. They had two separate issues, but they were both bike issues. They were on an on-off section where... They each lost forward momentum. Chad Reed, because of some sort of a, a ignition issue, and Josh Grant, because of a chain issue. This one with Jeremy Martin, they hinted around it being something with the bike. Uh, it sure looks like one of those two types of issues. And I'll be honest with you, I have reached out to them. I know what it was. They don't want to put the sponsor on blast. I understand that. I absolutely understand that. It could, because just because a sponsor makes a product doesn't mean that's the reason that the product failed. It could be installation, it could be overuse, could be like when a chain breaks, the wheel could be out of line. There's so many different factors to simply just point the finger at one person not knowing and, and put that company who's literally paying these guys to use their products and to promote them in a positive way to risk getting bad publicity. I understand it, I do, but at the same time, as a fan, what I see is I see a malfunction and Jeremy Martin just going head over heels, knocking himself silly, he didn't even know what happened. Hey, my legs. You okay? Just relax. Relax. What the f happened? Relax. Looks like you're, oh, you just got a cut on your leg. You're okay. Okay. Are you okay, Jeremy? Feel my right here? Yeah, yeah, I can feel everything. everything. You just got a little. And this is a guy who, gosh, we, I mean, if you've seen his back and the hardware he's got in his back, he had an incident a couple years ago where he thought he was never going to walk again. Nobody knew. He came completely back from this to win races and battle for championships. And he's getting towards the end of his career. And God, it's just, it's so scary. I don't think people understand how serious racing dirt bikes is. And while these guys, these athletes push the tracks, they push their fitness, they push everything to this higher level, mistakes cost more. And was this a mistake by Jeremy? Was this a mistake by the bike? Was this a mistake by his mechanic? Did a part malfunction? I, I don't know. I mean, but unfortunately, this shit happens. And I don't know that there's anything the Club MX team can do about this, in this situation to fix it. I do like that they're completely researching the hell out of it to make sure it doesn't happen again, and they understand how important it is. But I, I, and, I and you know what? I'm going to give them props too for for letting the cat out of the bag. That you know, 
kind of what happened. Like I said, they don't want to put the specific manufacturer on blast because they're not sure that's why. They're not going to put a specific mechanic on blast because they're not sure why. But they are telling us it was not Jeremy's fault. Jeremy was out there doing his moto, and when these guys jump off these, up onto these on-off situations, the bike is compressing, and these guys are pinning it. And these are strong motorcycles that have so much traction. I mean, they're stressing these parts far more than anyone could ever imagine. Um, and you're going to have malfunctions. That's just the way it is. When you're pushing to the very edge, you're going to have malfunctions. Unfortunately, that's what happened to Brandon Hartraft. Unfortunately, that's what happened to, uh, what's his name, the other kid on the Suzuki. Uh, but it's just, that happens. It's part of the sport. It's unfortunate. But every single rider that throws a leg over these bikes understands that. And what I want to do, though, is I want to give 1,000% credit to Club MX. They are changing. I don't know that they know that they're doing this. They're absolutely changing the sport by letting this stuff out. They are the front runners. And yes, they're probably going to get a little pushback from people. But I'm telling you, it's the right decision to go ahead and, and show us these uncut moments. They're showing you in this vlog, they show you the team meetings, the real team meetings. My meeting chair. It's awesome. I'm sure Muck Off and a lot of the sponsors that watch this go, yes, this is what we want to be a part of. This is what's going to take our sport to the next level. This is where I'm going to watch the Club MX team at Anaheim. I want to know where Enzo is. I want to know where Phil is. I want to know where Jeremy is. I want to know what you know, where they're at. I'm going to be paying attention just because I know their personalities. Watching Phil and Enzo go back and forth like an old married couple is hilarious. Take some. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Because you know it's true. Half of this will be gone. What about all that time I went to my house in Brazil and you ate my food? Oh, what about all the time you lived in my house and ate my stuff? I paid. Did you pay to go to my house? For a week? <laughs> Do you charge your friends a week rent? Yeah, I don't. <laughs> Hey, let's see. I never met someone more ungrateful than Enzo Lopes. You know? It's just his culture, that's how they are. Uh, yeah, those are cultures. What's, what's mine is his, but whatever's his is not mine. Phil himself is just straight, non-stop TV. He's great. Like, I could sit and watch Phil come up with his weird rationales, and the thing is, is that's Phil. But you can see what a good heart he has when he comes over to Jeremy's uh, little section afterward and checks on him. You give it a day, you give it one night. I, like, listen, you know what, if it feels something feels broke or if it doesn't. You know I know I've mean? taken some hits. I know. But I, Alex was like, oh, maybe you just need to go in and get it looked at just for peace of mind. Oh, this is, we're going to train this. If you need me, holler. I'll see you in a bit. Poor bars. That's a genuinely good person that does that, that comes over. I mean, yes, he does it in, a, in such a fill way where he, you know, he almost have to insult you because well, he's being nice, so he has to like, throw some stuff back at him. It, it's just funny. Like, that, Phil is a, is a rare human being who is so rough around the outside but so soft on the inside that you can't not watch him. It's awesome. Phil is must-see TV, and he's getting towards the end of his career too, so enjoy it. I hope there's a place for him in the sport afterward, and I know there is if, if somebody recognizes it as a team manager, as um, a riding coach, which I did another video about riding coaches, and there's levels of riding coaches, and just be careful when you choose your own riding coach that you get somebody who's not out there teaching you off their own ego, and they're teaching you off of your skill set and where you're at, and not what they think you should do or think you can do like what's actually going on and keeping you safe because this sport has real life consequences and I'm not going to lie when I first saw this video the one I'm gonna, that I probably I'm going to add it into my video where Jeremy's laying there and the first thing he says is my legs like hey. my legs you okay just relax yeah, just relax your heart skips because you forget that one false move and he's not just hurt he could be in the chair. His quality of life could change forever. Um, we all, everyone around the sport knows people in chairs. It happens. That doesn't mean any of us are going to stop riding. Not even a little bit. I mean, Jeremy, who was almost in a chair, is still doing it. 
But it's just we need to know those consequences, and we need to know they're out there and, and not act like they don't exist, but learn from them, learn from the mistakes, figure out what went wrong on Jeremy's bike, and make sure it doesn't happen again. Um, that's all we can do. There will still be malfunctions. When you're pushing stuff to the edge, there will still be problems where guys get hurt. Marchbanks, um, he's another guy uh, that he's out. Three guys that I know of, Carson Mumford, uh, Brandon Hartraft, Marchbanks, all three out of no fault of their own. Bike malfunctions, it happens. It happens to all the teams. Just because you only heard about those three is because those are the three that it unfortunately went bad. I promise you, all the other teams have these types of issues. They've just gotten lucky, and they're not telling you about it, and you're not hearing about it. But don't single these guys out. It doesn't mean their bikes break more than any others, because uh, I don't think they do. So, Anyway, guys, uh, check out that vlog with uh, Club MX, and just support those guys. What they're doing and the way Brandon and Mike and everybody over there are just letting you behind the curtain, we have to support that. If we want more of that, if we don't want these teams lying to us and treating us like we're morons, support Club MX. Um, these guys, they're doing exactly what they should be doing. So thanks, guys, and I will catch you later.